Hello everyone and welcome to the latest episode of Wakona Weekly. This week we have some stories for you as per usual, but we also have someone new as you may have noticed. We would like to introduce a new person to Wakona Weekly, Alex Harrington. Hello. We would also like to introduce Brett Vlasic and Grace Moriarty to the crew as they will be working on tech for us. As for our news this week, I will be covering the recent teacher sign-in day that took place at Wakona Thursday afternoon. I will be relaying to you some information regarding several topics, such as AP testing. And I will give you the latest in sports information. Now with all that being said, let's get started. This Thursday, an event known as the Teacher Sign-In Day was held in the Wakona Library. Lasting for about 30 minutes, the celebration focused on the agreement by seven students to pursue a career in teaching. Representative Paul Mark, a representative for Senator Hines, who was busy at that time, Superintendent Lori Kasna, and our principal, Aaron Robb, spoke at the procession in favor of the students and their efforts. The students then signed papers in which they agreed to continue on their paths to become teachers themselves, as their families and teachers watched and supported them. It was great to see so many people supporting the students involved in the event, and we'd like to congratulate them. Those students being Sydney Andrews, Grace Moriarty, Holden Nelson, Maddie Noyes, Hannah Peralt, Hannah Robbins, and Maddie Wenling. We would also like to wish them luck on their future efforts. This week in sports, the boys track team beat Huzik on Wednesday, but sadly the girls were not able to come out victorious. This was the final main season game, and we would like to congratulate not only those who participated Wednesday, but especially those who qualified for post-seasonals. Additionally, in women's softball, Wakona had a magnificent comeback against Deconic this week in a game that reached the 10th inning. Here, Wakona, very determined, were able to finally beat Taconic 5-4. In this game, Justuma was able to race past third and score the winning run, as Haley Lenski allowed her to do so, hitting a laser that could not be beat. Previous to this game, on Monday, the team defeated Westfield 6-2, where Abby Wells struck out nine and Haley Lenski hit for two runs in the tie-breaking inning. In boys lacrosse, Wakona set themselves up for yet another win. This time around, they beat out Lee 10-2. Some of the players who helped to assure this were Dom Orlandi, who had a total of six saves, and Ernie Lampron, Matt Mathers, Dart Jaggi, and Billy O'Neill all scored, adding to the total of the game. Plus, even before this, on Monday, Wakona beat Pittsfield 20-9, with both Jaggi and O'Neill scoring 7 and 5, respectively. On Tuesday, the Wakona girls lacrosse team surpassed Lee 10-3. In particular, Sydney Smith blocked the ball for nine saves, while Hannah Bowlby and Jilly Cote scored twice each. Congratulations to each and every member who participated across these games, as well as to everyone who secured wins for Wakona. This week and this month, there are several affairs going on at Wakona. Firstly, there is prom, which we have talked about before. Tickets have already been sold and tables have already been set. The prom committee has made good progress and the dance is nearly ready. It will take place on the 26th of this month, just prior to Memorial Day. This week and next week, the advanced placement tests have and will take place. Alongside those, the MCAST is approaching for freshmen. We wish all test takers luck on their tests. Finally, coming soon is Senior Assembly. A tradition at Wakona, Senior Assembly celebrates the current seniors and allows the class under them to work in honoring their efforts in school. A fl from a flag procession to skits, the Senior Assembly is an event of great variety. It will be taking place around the end of this month. That's what we have for news this week. We hope you found this episode to be enjoyable, and we would like to remind you to check out the survey in the description for if you have any recommendations of things for us to cover in the future. It would also be much appreciated if you subscribe to the Dalton Community Television channel on YouTube and follow our social medias in the description below so that you can see our new content with ease. Thank you for watching this episode. This has been Alex, Zach, and Ryan bringing you Wakona Weekly.